Running It Back is presented to you by the Honolulu Star Advertiser and Hawaiian Telecom. Welcome back to Running It Back. I'm here with Chad Owens, Ryan Kilmaka, and UFC fighter Yancy Medeiros. Thank you, you for being here today. <laughs> Got to be here. Yeah, I'm here brother. How you doing? Mahalo. No complaints, bro. Woke up, not hungry, not cold. It's my favorite saying. Like, mm. kind of. No complaints for my first road problems. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the way you live by, right? Each and every day. Try to, man. I mean, there's a lot more going on in the world. And, Definitely. You know, everyone's got it worse. A lot of people got it worse than me. So, oh, so live yeah. on an island, bro. I love that <laughs> right? perspective. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we do have it life. better than, than, than a, a lot. lot. A lot. You yeah, know, right? we, can, we can compare and say, oh, money, expensive. But, hey, we pay for where we're at and... I might be broke, but I'm rich. <laughs> yeah, you know, in heart. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. You here so, we go. That Bob go. Marley love it, love it. Yeah, you, exactly. That's I good. love it. Well, bro, look. Um, I mean, we we can talk a, a, a lot about your career. There's, there's a lot of, uh, you know, in, in fighting, in sports, in, in in life, a lot of ups and downs. But I, based on who you are and how you operate, just from this short first minute of this, you know, you take the wins as you take the losses, and I think that, you know, you got an upcoming fight. Yeah. Um, and I want to talk about that. We were talking about that prior to getting started here. Mm -hmm. You know, you're preparing for a fight, and and you're not the only one that 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 has gone through this situation. It happens in the fight game. Yeah, you're preparing. You know, camp, night before the fight, like you're ready, mm -hmm. weigh-ins, and then was it the morning of? Or morning the, of. Morning I was of. like um, getting ready to get to my venue, and then UFC called, and it was like, oh, your fighter can't. Um, he got sick you know call, can't um, couldn't continue can't fight so so what's the immediate off. what's the immediate thought i mean just you know yeah, no, i yeah, swear yeah, but yeah, you know yeah, I'm, yeah. Just, I'm upset i'm but i mean after that whole situation it was like i fight yearly only annually i've been only fighting like maybe once a year right mm -hmm. so i went through everything and like after a couple of days i got to decompress and i got back to you know it's never getting bitter right it's getting better what can i take Mm -hmm. from from the situation what can i take accountability for so mm -hmm. i was it was great because my cut was easy i got i broke that down to a science for me but everything the process i went through everything the only thing i never do is perform for 15 minutes <sighs> yeah. Yeah. you know what i'm saying it's kind of like when you go into a football season and you get that first game like you never get them since last year right yeah. so i got yeah. that feeling mm -hmm. and then he just delayed the inevitable yeah. bro game cancel you know, like when this fight he'd be like he should have fought me last month because like now i'm going to practice engaged like i'm just like the, i i can see the process because i was getting ready for the process i went through them didn't perform but the process is still going and now i'm like oh the belief the vision everything's there like even more so heightened, with the part yeah it's all heightened right yeah. so fired up yeah yeah i was just waking mm -hmm. up and you know ready to just get out there and go and be productive uh. i mean it takes a, a tribe to get there too so mm -hmm. i have a great team around me awesome yeah, how, about, how about your team who's 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 your coaches uh my, my main coaches are dog on morale michael tololo too that's my west side coaches mm -hmm. on the west side mm -hmm. that's my striking um my kickboxing coaches and then i get ivan lazarus and rylan is i mean ivan flores and rylan lazarus my Jiu -jitsu. that's my strategy and jujitsu mm -hmm. coaches so wow. trying like oh so many yeah just gym Definitely jumper the, yeah. the big uncle one let's just, let's uncle dog yes, yes. Uncle dog. <laughs> yes. Like my i love dad. that guy oh, bro. bro he's too classic yes. bro that's the local the local uncle i always try to bring him he won started with me in mma and yeah just He's their second family. It's all family. It's nothing awesome. different, right? Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? When you get when you when you're playing sports or whatever, you you learn to bond and have yeah. build relationships. So it's all my family. Yeah, and, and that's what it's about. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you talked about the process. You mm -hmm. know, um, I understand you sort of have a chef. Are, are you are you? What's your diet? Are you plant based? What's yeah, plant based. Plant based. Yeah, plant based. Eat I don't fish. say vegan because I'm not against. Yeah, I'm not against culture and not against life like i always say i don't pay your bills i don't take care of responsibilities mm -hmm. and you know i don't want to I mean? get labeled and put it in a box too yeah. you know like i say health conscious sometimes because yeah. i don't want to be like oh i'm pescatarian or i'm a plant or a plant you get, based or you get put in a, a category yeah. right yeah and sometimes i eat meat you know right. it's like sometimes hey man it's like yeah, yeah i'll try it you know yeah like i have but, my beliefs but then when i go like i live life you know when i went travel, to i went to turkey yeah. i tried out their food you yeah. know i don't wow. indulge in it but i try exactly. it out like i have my beliefs and my my standards that i keep to and it keeps me peaceful keeps everybody around me peaceful so it seems to be working awesome. oh, yeah, that's, awesome. that's what's up bro. That's yeah what's up. um yeah so you know typically when you're getting ready for a a fight right wh how far out 
do you have to start cutting? Like, what's the um, well, right? Like I've started my fight journey from fighting at 205 and going all the way down to 155. So it's always been a roller coaster. But now it's like everything at as you get older, it's all about recovery, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, like, you can perform later. I was like 21, 22. I'm like, I'll spar every day. Come true. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you're like, bro, you could take hits every day when you're young. And then you're getting older and older. And you're like, oh, bro, these young kids bringing it. And then, you know, you get your pride, your ego, and you're keeping up. But then your body's not keeping up. And that's where, you know, nutrition, connecting with yourself, everything plays a factor. So that's why I really got into nutrition, too, and getting into that and the recovery that's like my biggest thing yeah. with fighting is let's talk okay. more about your preparation right yeah. after this running it back is brought to you by the honolulu star advertiser bringing you what matters viewers can receive full digital access for 9.95 with code a high thing hawaiian telecom fiber power your tv and internet by calling 808-643-0900 or check availability at hawaiiantel.com All right, we're here in the studio with Yancy. We were just talking about his preparation for his fight, so let's get more into that. Yeah, bro. Um, yes, I'm right. No, the dieting. I was gonna go more. Simple. Oh yeah. I mean, cause I, I'm just, you know, as a as a football player and as athletes, that's that's one of the things that I think as a younger athlete, yeah, you don't you don't really focus on as much yeah and yeah, as sure. you mature as you get older you start to understand like man I, I gotta i gotta diet better i gotta eat better i gotta you know yeah. that's a way to get an edge yes yes you know i think more so in the fight game though it's it's everything yeah right especially if you, if you have to be within a certain weight yeah weight yeah. class so yeah. you know for those that are watching out there so when you were at 205 what were you that's your fight the fight weight mm -hmm, but, but mm -hmm. what were you walking around oh like maybe 218 you know, so let's just say 220 220 yeah, 20, yeah you know soaking wet it's almost yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice and ready local boy 220 <laughs> i mean so so you say you have it down to a science so yeah. calories are, are how much calories were oh, you bro intake? i don't even i i don't even go to that bro. i did break it down to carbs is my energy all the all the fr all the fruits and colors is my nutrition right wow right and i break it down like that and i make sure i stay hydrated you know i get there's i take tests to see what i'm deficient in with you know with everything hormones cortisol all these all wow. these different wow. things yeah it's like you think nascar are not doing that with their cars and running tests uh. right? I think NASCAR put 87 in their octane. <laughs> you know I mean? 90, right? 92. Wow. Yeah, maybe, even more so, they, they get that. And they, you know, and then they have a team with them going, oh, you can't put those shoes in. That's too heavy. You got to, you know, they get corn. I mean, like, oh, you got to use these lighter shoes because the aerodynamics, you get one team that worry about that. And all the driver got to do is drive. Right. And that's kind of like how we, how our team has it. Me, Max, Tyson, all these guys that represent Hawaii that come and train out of Gracie Technics too. Also, like. We kind of make it like that. Like, I'm just giving you a, like a no. different yeah. outlook of yeah. it, right? And try and break it down. But I don't break down calories or any, any anything like that. I eat like how I'm supposed to. Like when you wake up and you feed yourself, you, you know, I listen to my body. I don't listen to my emotions. Mm. Most of the time I was raised and the reason why I was 245 is because I was eating because I was bored. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Right? You know what I mean? But when you yeah. have an active yeah. lifestyle and you're yeah. healthy and you're always doing something, like your body's like, oh, I can eat later. Like, you know what I mean? You just, you end up doing things, right? Mm -hmm. You're not eating between practices. And you're okay. Right? You're okay, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you realize, know, hey, I didn't have to eat. Yeah. So there's those things too. And as I got older, it's like when you're young you're saying you don't realize a lot of things because everything's about output like you're just like oh you're taking mm -hmm. everything in then you get older and you're still passionate about it and you start caring about yourself more right and you start being more selfish and you start being more connected with yourself and wanting to do more for yourself so you can do more for, for everyone others. else yeah you know so mm. got you my health is my baseline you know my mental health my my every all of that my finances everything is trying to make healthy choices in that in that standard and martial arts and traveling and this fight games had me is only enhanced that for me awesome, awesome. so wow. you said something there Yancy, that, that caught my my attention right you talked about your mental health and that's something that's a, a huge that's the real pandemic in yeah. my opinion right mm -hmm. yes you're so high strung so go 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 where you talk about that as an athlete we're, we're always like ready for the next moment the next training session next what do you do to decompress what do you do for your mental like what is your oh, go-to to my to kind family of bro I just love being with my family. I love being mm -hmm. around that. Like I was just raised around, around that. But 
I mean, sometimes you're not around that, yeah? And I think it's the biggest thing for me is perspective, right? How you look at things. And for me, I always take care of myself, but it's how do you look at the outside world, right? And my mm-hmm. thing is like, bro, 33 years, I'm 33 now, and I always figured out like, what is like, yeah, so why are you so happy? Why you get all these things? And I'm like, I found my answer, bro. I just desire to see the best in people. Mm-hmm. Just like how I desire to see the best in myself. So when I see someone and I don't know him, I just desire, oh, how are you doing? I don't judge him for what he did, his past. It's, you know, it's yeah. what we're doing. It's your connect. What what vibe or what atmosphere you're giving me, right? And you just take it from there. Hey, if that's not a good guy, you know how to bound you yourself. But I always desire the best, whether it was a drug dealer or whether it was an NFL player. Like, what is the mm-hmm. best person you can be in front of me? And we mm-hmm. make it work from there. And then I don't really have any other thoughts about the outside right because it's just what i can control right right right. yeah like you know and if i don't like what he what he bring or she brings then i just i just keep my boundaries yep shoots shoots right <laughs> like it's like the biggest thing is like aloha you can be yep. f you bro aloha have a nice day bro. <laughs> i'm not gonna have this ill will against yeah. you or so that's like the perspective of it i just desire the best in seeing others and what they can bring you know to this to the situation wow. or the moment wow yeah. wow we need more people like that mm-hmm. thinking that way i think it is i think we do have it all we just you know we we tend to get distracted with other yeah. things and focus on it's not like we don't have it you know we give it to other people we tolerate different things with other people in different atmospheres so it's just being conscious of that all the time well Yancy, you are an amazing person <laughs> but we will get to know you even better right after this yeah Safe and effective COVID-19 vaccines are important tools to protect our families and community. If you have any questions about the vaccines, visit hawaiicovid19.com slash vaccine. Izzy tows it, providing towing services island-wide. Visit towingserviceoahu.com. And we're back here with Yancy in the studio. Here we go, baby. One thing, um, what would what kind of advice you would give back to you, to your younger self, like your 18-year-old self that you know now? What kind of advice you'd give to your oh, past man, self? That's such a good question. Like, I always think about that because it's like, I don't feel like I really changed my passion. Like, my dream is to wake up like a kid every day. That's like oh. my dream, right? Like, like fucking kids don't have any worries. They don't have any, right, they, work, they wake up like, oh, I don't want to be happy. Right. And yeah. just, that's what kids want. I'm not saying don't take care of responsibilities like you know, but I was always like, I wish I told myself just to be more responsible that I'm still a kid, but Same I just take thing. care of my responsibilities yeah. and nobody worry about me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I do my thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then when you see a kid too, it's always, oh, it's, like, you know, it's always bright. Yeah. And then yeah. when you see something like they don't really have hate or anger or all these negative emotions, they might have a bad day and whatnot. But mm-hmm. Other than that, kids is always, you see them, they bring out the joy in you. You know what I mean? So, kid at heart. You adults can do that too. Heart, yeah. Adults can yeah. be that too. You know, just because you're grown doesn't mean you can't act. It's just so okay. much, so much responsibility as an adult, you know, that we don't have, we're so carefree as a kid. You know, yeah. our mentality is so carefree. You don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. You just live in the, you know, in the, in the moment kind yeah. of deal. You, an adult is like, oh, you know, you know, you and kid, bro. You can leave your house without your phone in your wallet when you go and work. <laughs> you <do> something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm getting not gonna care. You know what I mean? Just oh, okay, I gotta go about my day. I gotta take care of what yeah. I gotta take off. Like you know, some people they they connected with yeah. that, right? Whatever it is, yeah. So yeah, those we, these things we, we talked about that before. Like yeah. that's the difference, and mm-hmm. you know, and, and uh, I love that mentality, bro. Yeah, I mean, like I'm saying, don't like I'm not saying don't be responsible. Like don't be grown up. Like you know, but you see responsible kids, bro. They're like 12, and you're like, damn, you're doing that <laughs> all on your own without your parents' uh, dictatorship, yeah. like. Keep doing it, bro. Yeah, do the thing, but, you know, already, so, so it's like it's ad- it's admirable, and it's like, hey, why you cannot do that at an older age too? Uh, you just and uh, end up taking your responsibilities and putting it in your life and shelving those emotions, and then you get talk about bills, talk about problems, right? Mm-hmm. You know, so kids don't talk about that. No, they no. Even talk, I, mean, I used to get I used to get my I used to get beat up, I'm disciplined from my mom them all the time. I wasn't like, oh, my mom beat me up every day. You know, I'm not <laughs> yeah, talking no. about those kind of things. I was like, dang, I better, I but better act right. going home. <laughs> yeah, right. you know, I better act right. Like, you know, so yeah, there's those things, man. Totally. Awesome. awesome. Wow. So speaking yeah. of that, what, what is your day like, though, when you get up in the morning or what's your everyday daily routine? routine? Daily routine. 
I mean, just it, what will um, putting in that hours of work. If yeah. it's any, if it's not training, then it's spending quality time. time yeah, yeah. I mean, it's always Cardi that me B. time. Man. Cardi B, <laughs> she's my rider. I would have brought her over here if I knew. But I also no. do see you on Instagram with your coffee yeah. or an yeah. espresso. Yeah, that's how I feel. If anybody's wondering, that's how yeah. I feel Give inside. Give us a little bit of that. Yeah, I just that's how I feel inside when I get coffee. You know, dopamine shot. You're like, oh, <laughs> like yeah, like oh, it's coming, bro. But. <laughs> I don't I don't <laughs> live off coffee. I just I like I like it. Like I don't need to wake up and use coffee. Mm-hmm. Like I don't drink coffee without water. Like I'm over here like I need water. I drink yeah. yeah, I always drink water with my coffee, but I don't drink it all day. It's mm-hmm. probably my last cup. But I really, really like coffee. I yeah, I like it. Well, it's yeah. interesting how you do in the morning, like yeah. your routine and this stuff. This is my thing. And what, what kind yeah. of coffee you drink? I, I do the Bulletproof. I, I, I used to do Bulletproof, but now I just, I mean, the bunch of people, a bunch of friends, family, and fans send me coffee all the time. So I just, wow. you know. You hit CBD co- you ever tried CBD coffee? Yeah. Yes, I did. Oh, awesome. I'm not picky either. I'm not like a connoisseur. It's either, oh, this tastes good. Mm, not too good. So today. what's your preference? Uh, the more bitter or you know like um i like it less acidic but mm. like as, as long as it's doing the job bro you know like <laughs> yeah. as long as it's doing the job bad like it's another supplement if, yeah. it, if it's good for me and it's right. doing what it's supposed to do and i'm plant-based i'm like plants i don't really add cream or sugar or anything awesome. and just all yeah. black full on black yep straight to the point and strong oh, yeah you <laughs> yeah. yeah. so you go Actual black can i go back of coffee coffee yeah, coffee. yeah. <laughs> Not sugar, huh? they they add sugar I and mean, they add um coffee in the sugar Starbucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 I know exactly because that's what it is. Like, that's what's up. Does your coffee look white? <laughs> you know? Coffee's not the addiction, bro. Sugar's the addiction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I yeah. mean, yeah, and then I'm basically with that trying to put my six to eight to ten hours in a day of work, and that's that's um separated with all the practices I mm-hmm. go through. I always bouncing around at gyms too from time. I live in IAM. Excuse me. I sleep in IAM, but I still live in Makaha. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. But I do a lot of commuting. So, you know, I just with mm-hmm. all the coaches and all the teams, I try and really utilize Hawaii for everything I can. You know, I'm really mm-hmm. appreciative and I'm really yeah. grateful for my or atmosphere, my teammates, and my surroundings. So. I, I'm glad because um, people, like fighters, move to the mainland to, mm-hmm. to train and stuff. And, and you, you, you haven't. So. Yeah. And before we get into that, okay. let's take a break. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Running It Back is brought to you by Aloha Termite and Pest Control, your local and leading pest and termite control solution in the state, always providing you superior service with Aloha. We are back here with Yancey, and we were here just we talking about training here and on the mainland, but yes, Ryan? I just want to ask, like... The difference between having a camp here and going away, you know, and going have and, and leaving for the mainland to have a camp. A lot of a lot of fighters decide to leave. Yeah. And you decide to stay home and train. Mm-hmm. So what's the what's the reason behind that? You know, well, strategy I've, or or I've had my fair share of cross training. Okay. I kind of took it like college, right? You go from high school, you go into another the university. I did that in Stockton with the Diaz brothers. I just went in there. Nick let me stay with him for two months, or just stay at his house, live with him, and train. And over awesome. there, it's like, oh, go enter the shark tank, see if you can hang. Wow. Right? And then for, I went over there. I kept going back over the years. I'd spend two months, a month, a couple weeks here and there throughout the throughout the year. And, you know, for me, that's part of that's part of your profession, mm-hmm. yeah? It's like you go, you guys showing up to a football game without your headgear, like mm-hmm. your, your helmet, right? Or you mm-hmm. going and not having what you need, right? That's part of your tools. That's part of your standard and qualifications on professional. And it kind of... You know, it kind of affected me psychologically, especially uh, emot- um, emotionally. I'm empathic. That's why, you know, I feel, mm-hmm. you know, I feel that so like when I, when it happened, like it drove me, it drove me like upset. And I was like, bro, I gotta say sorry to this guy. <laughs> yeah. I had to come back. I had to like go find his room. And I was like, hey, bro, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make weight. Like never had this experience before. Wow. So I always run- remember that. And I always, ru- I always run that back. And you remember how you felt, bro, and how you never own up. To your, to your, um, how you never take accountability for you, for you not um, taking care of your responsibilities. Yeah, that's huge. So that's, that's huge. the biggest thing. Like you know, if I could run things back, like always take care of your responsibilities. Like, and, line. yeah, you know. Yeah. Holding uh, up your end of the, your yeah. end of the, the, the deal. Right? Yeah. You're, yeah. Be accountable. You're per- Be accountable for your actions. You were, yeah. I guess in that game, you get paid to yeah. like making weight is step one. Yeah. That's that's your first fight. Yep. No, 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 no. I have, a, I had multiple fights. That's why it was even Bad. worse because I, like this, I've been through this rodeo. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean, it's like 
How you not gonna how you not gonna make weight? You did this all this time, but now you're not making weight. What's your excuse? But don't you think that um made you more motivated to want to do better the next time? I, I, of course. Like right. that's 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 where it was. I was like, I ain't not missing weight yeah. again. You know what I mean? I'll go up a weight class if I can't figure it out, but <laughs> I'm not gonna be unprofessional. Yeah. Right. You know, I'm still gonna make the fight and you know, things even that so like things didn't end up my way, but I don't feel like I lost. I just learned something to get better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dope. Make that's it dope. better. That's big, man. Yeah, that's big. I think a lot of, uh, a lot of times, and we're all faced with those situations, those uh, moments in our lives, and yeah. you know, I think every end of yeah, those adversities, and everyone's different in how they handle it. Yeah. And I think you know, you're showing a lot of inspiration by sharing that, and now people can look at that like, yeah, I, I can, I can mess up. Yeah, it's okay to mess up, but as long as you learn from that, yeah, and you don't replicate. You don't do it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like um, my biggest thing is I hate losing more than I like winning. Yeah, you know I mean, mm-hmm. so it's always like, how does that? How does it gonna? Mm-hmm. How does that grind your gears? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Me for me, so it's easy now to just think about those things and like, oh, that feeling, like when you like eat something, like, oh, how's it feel now? You're making weight, bro. Yeah, you yeah. just wait for your eat- eating time. <laughs> or, you know, discipline, commitment. Yeah. Discipline. That's part of commitment. Yeah, and that's yeah. what it's about, man. And so, Yancy, look, man, we're gonna we're gonna. Uh, end this version here but guys stick around yancy stick around we got the extended version coming up here on youtube lots more to talk about with Let's yancy go. Maderos. ufc baby welcome to our extended version on youtube i'm here with yancy Maderos. Chad Owens and Ryan Kilmaka. So let's get right into it, boys. Right back into it. Well, like 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 I was saying, you know, we're just saying like I, you know, Kiana when Kiana first met me, she thought I was a, a fighter. I guess I had that persona, that look. Um, not like it's a bad thing. Though. No, no, I no. Was just like yeah, the punk yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, the I, punk I, look. I had, whoa, whoa, whoa. I had you know the one fight and the thing the thing that you know yeah I'm a football player. Let's just be honest. That's what I did. But the thing about that is, hey, you have a bad game, good game, whatever it is. Hey, the next week you get to you get to study film, you get to learn, you get to go back do it again, yeah. do it again year after year after year after year. Mm-hmm. I had the one fight, and like the next day, I wanted to do it again because oh, I could have did this better. I could have did that. I could, you know. And unfortunately, that that was the end of the road for that that little chapter, that yeah. little thing. And you know, but I gotta say, bro, that energy was different. Yeah, and you get to live, bro, on the highest stage, bro. Yeah. So your very first big event fight, crowd, bro, what was that feeling? Mm. Oh, man, I mean, I went in there with just, I was like, I belong here. Like, yeah, I'm looking at these lights because at first you don't, you, you see the lights from the outside, right? Like, you see the cage and whatnot. And I went to the mainland and I seen it and I was like, I belong here, bro. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to show up for Hawaii. Like, that was like my thoughts. I was like, this is it, bro. Like, we off the island. Like, I wanted to always just be the best in Hawaii. And then I got over that stage and I was like, no, like, represent Hawaii. I don't like beat up the local brothers. You know, I don't like, yeah. I don't want to do that. Like, I want to be able to represent. So I was over that stage of trying to, be the, the the big fish in Hawaii. I was like, nah, nah. We, we unite, you know. We come out, we put we put it down for we put it down for our islands. Love yeah, it, love it, love Man. it. So that was like when I when I seen that, I was just it, it felt home. It felt like you know it was just not not nothing different. Just adding crowd now to to what I do uh, inside. Yeah, but that first walkout though. Talk yeah. talk to us about that of, of like you know your, your UFC oh. you know, debut coming out. Oh man, I mean, the song you chose. Do you remember that? Oh man, I always, <laughs> no, you know, my songs always change because it's always like just when I'm in camp, it's whatever I feel, you know, yeah. like, if it comes from that now, like I'm just like, oh, like, you know, what I mean? oh, <laughs> changing it this one. Like, I always try to walk out with some is and Israel and I, I mix it up, like, mm-hmm. but the first, the first one was. I took it. I took it all in. I was like, I'm, I'm loose. I'm very, um, happy go lucky. So I'm always just staying lax, staying happy. You know, staying in the mode. But you know, you can go to war. You can go to war with a smile. You can go to war with aloha. My aloha changed all day, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? Chaka won't face. Yeah, you know, you just, like? the shots it's all like good. But you know, it's, it's, it's how you promote yourself and how you gonna be you in there and how you gonna show you. Unfortunately, I lost with a dislocated thumb. But oh yeah. Yeah. So you know, and that was my first loss too. You know, I went into UFC. I was like, oh, you landed on it like yeah. yeah. I and then I didn't even know. It was like you just had like spring thumb. Uh, 
No, I couldn't. I couldn't no, close my hand. I was, was like, oh. and the thing was just outside of was the out, glove. Bro. It was like, oh. yeah, was it just crooked? Yeah. Like, it was just out. So then the doctor had to stop it. But oh. I never broke anything before, so I thought it was gonna be like lethal weapon. But it was gonna just put him back in, and I was gonna fight again, <laughs> <Right>. bro. You know. <laughs> I was just like, oh, move. No, they were like, oh, he's done. You know, like, so. And that was my first loss. Uh, so. But, I mean, it's 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 all good. That's my lessons, right, to do. And just don't be don't be sprawling like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Man. Yeah. And then it's perseverance, too. Like, everyone's always like, these amateur fighters. Like, oh, you get your first loss. I'm like, bro, I went undefeated. My first UFC fight was my first loss. Don't even trip. <laughs> you good, bro. You never even get one. Prof- you never even fight professionally yet. Yeah. So, like. Yeah. Don't worry about don't worry about the record. R- worry about worry about the process, bro. You know, and you no, just man, I'll look. everyone's always trying to get that record. I never. That's one thing I knew. I never cared about my record. Like not in the sense of not wanting to lose. I always wanted to win, but I was never like, oh, I gotta make this five and all. Oh, I gotta make mm-hmm. this six and all. Do you do you feel pressure to put on a performance? Always. Always. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, we paid to perform, mm, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? You like, but some you people like, do it for points. Some people, some fighters fight for points. They don't care about the yeah, performance. You I know, they it. just that's, care about winning that one round. Okay, we win this next pe- round. I don't pay we win yeah, the next yeah, round. Because they're content with that. You know, yeah. that's just, it's just uh, like. That's why you. you're, yeah, you're okay. a fighter's but fighter. If, like, if, okay, if you, if, if you, if you playing football, right, and you can tackle somebody, you would tackle them, huh? Or you would try to give them their all, right? Like some guys, you just like, oh, I can just. So they're gonna they gonna save themselves, right? They don't wanna they don't wanna get commit, hurt, right? Yeah. They they're no in the way. game but they're not. Like you know, mm-hmm. you see them uh, and it's like I cannot I relate cannot. with team with team because it takes a squad, right, to mm-hmm. control that. But for me it's like All I can you. dictate everything. Yeah. You know, I can dictate everything. That's why you're a fighter's fighter. You're a fan favorite, bro. Yeah, I well that's it. you guys paying me to entertain, not not win love not it. win like you I mean win, of yeah. course, you guys but But you, at the end of the day, it, it's it's you, your performance is like your that's your not your resume but that's your character that's who you're representing so yeah, you don't like yeah. go out there and you know you want to be you yeah. so the way you perform is is a reflection of your character yeah who you are i mean you know bro, I, mean? I, I think that's big i dislike the booze i'm mm. like you know you're booing that means nothing's going on mm. i know there's a lackluster right mm. i don't bring that to my table you know yeah. i don't bring that that's not my that's not my atmosphere that's not my personality like, the nights did you have? oh I don't know, you know. I don't keep calling, you know. Like <laughs> I get interviews, they're like, "Yancy, you've done this and this." It's like I didn't even know my record. That just one guy who told me he's like, "Oh, you're 15 and seven and one." And I was like, "Oh wow, you fought this much times in UFC." I was like, "Oh, oh. snap!" Like I don't even. That's not, like I don't keep account to those things. Like, it's just always like the journey, bro. It's not what I did; it's what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah so I'm what, always, you're, what you're about to do, and there's yeah. a yes. quote that that um, you know, uh, uh, our he's the general manager now of the Argos former player that he used to always come and visit us you know during training camp and he said this he says hey if what you did yesterday still sounds good to you today then you haven't done much today Mm -hmm. so it's like bro that right there it's like it doesn't matter the records hey mvp great cup whatever it it doesn't matter but what are you doing today like what are you focused on today right and and i love that mentality it's like it doesn't matter what my record is doesn't matter how much fights i had i got a fight coming up Okay, am I winning today? Yeah. That was another thing that one of the teams was on, that their culture was win the day. Mm-hmm. Each day, yeah. just win the day. That's good. And I, I love mean, that mentality. No, yeah. it's, it's mm-hmm. progression. Because like, for me, it's always like, bro, I'm going to just, if it's in, like, I'm going to be me in there, and that's going to be inevitable. Like, beginning of the year, UFC had this real big cut. I don't know. I don't know how much fighters, but, and then, mm-hmm. like, I've, I I haven't been performing the best. I'm on, like, a 3 three fight losing streak right and they're like oh my god are you scared you're gonna get cut i'm like bro if they're gonna cut me they're gonna cut me like i'm not it doesn't matter like i still monday's still gonna come bro yeah. like yeah. you know and those mean, things right? are out of your control yeah those things are out of my control but you know what i'm doing i'm grinding i'm getting back like i'm being productive mm-hmm. there's like there's nothing else i can do i'm not worried about them and sure enough you know ufc didn't cut me so it's just like come on yeah we date they know it's inevitable they know my product they know what i bring but when you when you when you fight the best of the best you, you're Come on, your your record is not gonna. You know what I mean? It's like you're bound to win some and lose some. You're yeah, fighting yeah. the best of the best of the best, bro. And so it's like, woo, cut my hat off to you. Yeah, man. I, it's it's I, definitely I, a tough. It's a tough. I would be able to. It's walk a in tough. That. Um, I don't know if you say life, but it, it can be for those if they don't have the right mental mentality. No, I think the right any, support system, right. and that's a big thing with any profession yeah. you guys go into, right? Because there's always so much distractions, and the higher up you get there, the more distraction there is, right? And it's about 
it's like Muhammad Ali said it the best. Like it's easy to get to the top, but what about when you get to the top and you wake up with the house you want and the girl you had or have, you know, and the cars? It's like, how do you keep that? But what is my happiness? Like mine is just like, I like be able to just be happy, be a kid, and just you know take care of my responsibilities. I ain't trying to get ten cars and just over here waking up. I can do this every day, and not worry about my, not worry about bills or problems, and take care of them. But I it's not like that. Yeah. I Right, yeah. you gotta. You, I mean, what else? What else is there? The biggest thing to me is being happy, and if it's not serving others, then it's being a parent or being something and raising a kid and making them a better person. Like, what else is there in life if it isn't that to serve others? Right, like mm -hmm. that's a big, that's a big thing because you're born with nothing. You're gonna, you're gonna die with nothing. So you know, it's what you do in this journey right now and then of how you gonna make it better. Or how, yeah, yeah. Or what yeah. kind of impact you can leave, it's right? Like the dash so. between like the tombstone, right? Yeah. Mm. When you're born, yeah. The dash. Yeah. It's that yeah. dash. What did What did you do in that yeah. on that in dash that, in that journey? Because I know, you know, a thousand years from now, I'll get reincarnated and I'll be something else or whatever. Right? It's all energy. Energy oh, never dissipates. Yeah. Huh? So it's always right. you know something's gonna happen. We we'll regrow and yeah, Love world it. still turns, bro. Like, every yeah, time there's that, I'm like, oh, I'm like, hey, bro. Monday's still gonna come, bro. We got, we got to do something about it. Let's do I this. Love it, man. And, yeah. I, and I know uh, nickname the kid. Now, now I see where, where it comes from. <laughs> yeah. You're just trying to be a, a, a kid at heart, always yeah. having fun and just searching for yeah, being pure, for happy. being yeah. pure, right? And mm -hmm. then when mm -hmm. kids know boundaries, then they know how to hack, right? Some guys, some adults don't even know boundaries, bro. Mm -hmm. I teach my dog boundaries, she can go anywhere, bro, with me without one leash because <laughs> she understands boundaries. Yeah. yeah, not even kids can like some you see parents, they can't even do that with their own kids. That mm -hmm. means they can't even do that with themselves. Mm -hmm. when you mm -hmm. see that when you see that then it's easier to understand them mm -hmm. so you don't need to get mad at them you don't need to get mad at the kids you're you a good dog, program. dog parent good huh? dog daddy huh? ryan's a good ryan's a good, <laughs> good dog, dog daddy. daddy yeah you know but yeah. quick quick rapid rapid questions i'm gonna do oh, right okay. now rapid okay. answers so it's gonna <laughs> be quick ryan's right? favorite yeah. i'll try i'll try no yeah. that could be go. really quick but you know the first yeah. thing that comes to mind yes, you know, yes. Really and coming to the stage for rapid questions ryan kill mark here we go. First question. First question. Um, what's it's dog or cat? Dog. Dog. Right. Obviously. Favorite color? Whole black. Black. Oh, Slimming. Get, 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 <laughs> Slimming. <laughs> We're gonna get to know the answer a little bit more. All right. Here we go. Nikes or Adidas? Adidas. Yowzers. Mm. I I know I know more on um, athletic feet. That's why the Nikes run narrow. Adidas go a little bit wide. Wide, wide, wide. I'm team me. I'm not team brand, bro. Yeah, you know? <laughs> the Adidas seem to work with me, bro. I'm not. I leave my ego at the door. <laughs> Guys, right? it's whatever you most proficient in, bro, or whatever you use the best. Love it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mullet or bangs? Bangs, bro. Bang. Oh wait, 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 wait. I gotta go with the mullet because I had a mullet, bro. Mullet. <laughs> okay, okay. Mullet, mullet, bro. Papa John's or Pyology? Oh, biology. Because the vegan options, right? Hey. Biology. Oh, <laughs> All right, awesome. Sunrises or sunsets? Sunsets, baby. Last side, west side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Action movie or rom com? Oh, that's some good one, man. Because it was. I think it's rom com now. I'm getting older. Ah, huh? like, like <laughs> I see, action is always there with the rom com, bro. All right, rom com. Gotcha. Yeah. Here we go. Goonies or the never ending story? Oh, bro. It's a real good one, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, mom, 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 mom. I'm gonna have to go with never ending story. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Last one Tupac or Bobby? Bob Marley. Oh, oh. Ooh. Well, that's not hard one, but Bob Marley. Yes. Yeah. That's Bob Marley. Coffee or sure. tea? I would say coffee, but the thing was, coffee. I already know kind of anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm all of the above on that one. I don't discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> but coffee first, preferably. <laughs> Perfect. That's that was a little ends on little background on on Yancey because you know yeah. want to get to know him better. Ladies, ladies, are you single by the way? <laughs> no, I have a girlfriend. Never yeah. mind, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> He he's takes a that back. Man. He takes he's that a taken back. man. You know, we want to be respectful. Slipping, punches, bro. Slipping, slipping. Bro, bro, love. Over here. <laughs> Always trying. Don't slide in the DMs because you know, <laughs> you don't know, know what you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, look, Yancey, it's been an unbelievable um, session here, brother. Thank you so much for your insight, your perspective, your knowledge, your mm -hmm. um, everything, bro. I love Thank the you. way you live in life. And everyone that's listening, you guys, there's a lot of golden nuggets here that, that Yancey provided yep. us. Things that we can live by. You can just find one thing that he said 
and you can live by and use that on a daily so mm -hmm. bro appreciate you so much bro. Thank much, much mahalos me. and yeah. bro and before that yancy where can we follow you yes. where can hawaii um, follow you support you at yancy madaris instagram. Um, instagram at why madaris I'm, I'm not too much facebook so in ig that's the most right now at yancy madaris hit Got that on. up yeah hit him up Got it. right on bro yeah. mahalo thank appreciate you guys it. for having me man i appreciate the the atmosphere and good all stuff. this good vibes man good vibes oh, good always. energy and thank you all so much for tuning in and joining us here at the Running It Back podcast. Aloha. Running It Back was presented to you by the Honolulu Star Advertiser and Hawaiian Telecom.